Hey guys, I'm Pine Top Jackson. I'm here south of Seattle at the Museum of Flight. Because right across the street from the Museum of Flight is a Boeing factory. And in the Boeing's employee parking lot, there is an old early 1960s Minuteman missile silo. Let's go check it out. Using Google Earth here, we can see the Museum of Flight. Over here is the Boeing plant. And right here is what we're looking for. Starting in 1961, the U.S. Air Force built 1,000 Minuteman Intercontinental Ballistic Missile Sites dispersed throughout the central United States. This silo south of Seattle was a primary testing site. So right here I think is the hatch where the ladder would be. The workers would climb down to get into the bunker. And then over here, this is the dome that would open up for the missile to uh, be launched out of. Of course, this was just a testing site, so the missile didn't have any nuclear warheads or anything. But still, a working missile would be down in there. The underground launch tube that's basically below our feet here is 12 feet wide and 80 feet deep. This testing site was used to work out all the kinks in the system before it was needed to be fired. There's a number of good stories that have been published. One that stands out to me is how they dealt with snow. Some of the missile silos that were installed in Montana were having trouble with snow and the ice blocking up the opening and not letting the dome open. In order to work out this kink at the testing facility, they needed some snow. And there's not a lot of snow in Seattle usually. So they wound up driving over to the Snoqualmie Pass and shoveling tons of snow, hauling it back to Seattle in a dump truck and dumping it there in the parking lot. So then they would just shovel the ice and the snow from the parking lot on top of the dome. They worked with uh, like putting some jaws that would crunch the ice. One story, I don't know if it's true or not, but they talked about piling horse manure all around the dome. As the manure cooked in the sun, it melted all the snow so that uh, they wouldn't even have to worry about crushing the ice. But uh, I don't know if that's a true story or it could be just horse shit. <laughs> I'll share some Cold War era blueprints with you guys to end the video. Thanks for watching. See you next time.